Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and I've put together a decent little team here because I want to go out into the Sunward Isles and we have a long mission which would be our first ever which is kind of surprising that it's taken us this long to do a long mission but I, I like Sunward Isles and I think this part is pretty interesting. I've gone with Nevar up top uh, because he's got the ability to heal while he's in front. He's also got mediocre damage. He's going to be our main healer um, as well as just being able to deal some good damage. Um, then we have Lazander here who is actually not going to be a healer this time. He's mainly a healer but I've given him all of the damage and I'm hopefully going to play into the Hammer of Faith because we have Hammer of Faith with 30% damage to stunned, plus Concussive, another 15% damage to stunned, plus Armor Piercing, plus we have a stun here, and we have a stun here. Um, in fact, have the exact same icon. Um, and then, yes, we have... Um, yeah, same icon, slightly different colour. Then we have Blaze, who we haven't taken out in a little while. He's mainly going to be buffing as well as stunning. Um, and because of that, I've gone with Retribution for the Repost. I've gone with the stun, and I've gone with his two buffs here. Which I'm hoping will work well with the Hammer and Tongs, which is going to give us quite a lot less damage and speed. In fact, our damage is pretty abysmal with this guy now, because we're lowering our damage on this too. But... Buffing our um, friends for 10% prop whenever we use an effect on them and also lowering the targets crits uh, Increasing the targets crits received seems fun and then yeah, we haven't brought out Nyx in a while either So I've just given her the extra uh, stun chance and resists as well as the uh, extra HP And we're gonna be using her to potentially stun maybe blight clear that blight and bleed as well as relieve stress and potentially increase damage received and pull We'll see how that goes. This, unfortunately, is still a thing. Minus 10 accuracy after the first round, so we'll just have to see how we go with that. But let's jump into the provision screen and see what we can get. I also downloaded a new mod, by the way, um, to add in some new consumables for us. We've got Laughing Powder and the Healing Injection. Um, this is Healing for Stress, and I believe this is... Um, treat stress but damages you so they're like the inverse of each other it's a really cool idea i don't know how like much i'm gonna end up using them but we have them so we'll see so we are going on to a long mission here so we want to take um at least 24 food we want to take four i'll take five of those just in case um And 16 of those. And then we could take some minor Arminoris too. I'll take two of them. Uh, obviously, that's put our money in a bad spot. But hopefully, we will get quite a lot back off of this. Uh, but let's jump straight in and see how this goes. And of course, we do have diary entries to get into here. So the first one is by Blank Gaming. This is Diary of Rose the Arbalist. Say, I'm not really all too religious, but Renault told me about some trials crusaders are put through for the light. If the light exists, it's really fucking testing me. I got sent um, questing with a whopping three non-humans. Three. As a bagman, more like an armed man. I don't know how he trains, but he needs to chill out. Did you see the swings he was throwing? Of course you saw. You're the voice in my mind. Thanatos, death incarnate. Need I say more? And Navar, him having a similar-ish name to the Guardian, kinda um, already had me on edge. But surprisingly, he was the most normal. Well, not normal. More so weird in a way a human would be, which is honestly enough for me. He offered me some tea during our rest. It was nice. After I'm done with it, I, uh, done with this, I'm writing him a letter, inviting him to the library. I feel Amy would like to know about his armor and. Um, and who knows, he might find something fun to read. As for my usual report, a healer got taken from us recently. God, I feel so pathetic calling her a healer, but that's all I knew of her. So many people were devastated, shockingly, including Guardian. I had found before he doesn't sleep. Weird. But not really something I'd consider out of the ordinary for him. But after she died, he doesn't even pretend to. He's always doing something, pacing around, uh, training... Um, training at day and writing what seems to be tactics at night. From what I've seen, he's trying to figure out every single possibility for fighting the Ringmaster. 
After snooping, I found a group of three that have high success rates together, regardless of the fourth person. Sophie, Koshkin, and the Shieldbreaker. I can't for the life of me remember her name. Uh, this might sound really immoral of me, but I find the entire situation rather relieving. What is going through the Guardian's head is human, be it remorse or what else. In other news, we're steadily progressing on cleansing the corruption. I will continue my report later. Really good to see. Um, we've also got another small one here from Rockerin. This is for the uh, for Uriel in the Chapel of Light. Light, oh light, your blessing continues. Another of your faithful servants joins the cause. He speaks almost in the holy word entirely, a chorus to my ears. Father Rod Rodriguez. I do not recognize his markings, though I do not see his faith waver. A separate closeter, or perhaps even an inquisitor. If the latter, I am humbled, though I dare not pre uh, presume to speak of his potential mission. Our goals seem to align. I see the same look of disdain in his eyes when he sees the putrid land as I have. I will admit my jealousy of him in a way. Another set of lashings. These people keep intending to speak with me, as if I could only, bear, only barely contain my bile while I have, uh, I have to see them. Let alone hear the blasphemous tongue waggles calling me mad that I need help. Oh, blind sinners, I am here to help. Sinners to chuckle, tinged with a bit of madness, as long as, di uh, long, as long and difficult as it may be. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. Okay, we do have um, another big diary coming up soon as well, so we'll read that once we get to camp. We've got two camps this time around, though. I think I'll only do one mission here, but as um, as was in that diary there, there is a group that we're going to be sending out soon. But yeah, not really sure what to expect here. Uh, we're, we're just doing explore 90% of rooms, so let's go up this way first. I really like uh, the Sunward Isles, so I want to see what I can do with this. Um, it might sound rather nice. Okay. <laughs> didn't seem to do anything bad, but it also didn't seem to do anything good, so... So there, I guess. May we find victory. Pull this guy to the front. Hopefully that'll help out. Grave Nibbles can be very bad because they can stun us. Let's hope we don't get stunned. Nice one, we didn't. Mallet Thwack, at least he didn't do the repurst off the bat. That's rather nice. And we'll go for a kill there. With impunity. And the hammer gets that armor piercing. Super, super valuable. It's kind of one of the reasons I brought him. So now I just want to check something. If I bolster here, does that give everyone? It gives everyone pro. Okay, so bolster has just become pretty good. It only gives three rounds of pro, not a whole battle's worth. But I still think that's pretty positive, realistically. I still think that's pretty positive. Brave nipple coming in again. Luckily we get the dodge on that this time. And there you go. Even Navar, without any damage boosts, is doing some really, really nice damage. So, glad to have him aboard. Oh, we got one of these sharks here. Some more prot in the business here. And we got the surprise too, which is rather nice. Again, we'll, pr we'll pull this guy to the front to start with so we can take him out quickly. Um, technically, we could kill him, but I think we're more likely to do better damage here. And we'll go for the uh, insta-kill there. So, we want to be doing this to start with because that's going to provide us all with prot. As well as um, a bit of dodge and stress reduction, which is nice. And then, yeah, we go here. Another Guaranteed kill from Lysander there. I absolutely love that. that. Lysander's really sort of making his way back. He, he he had he had some tough times to start with. Really tough times. He saw a few people go mad. And after what he'd seen, I think it kind of shook him to his very core. But hopefully he's he, he seemed to be doing not so bad. Um, let's get, give you a block. Why not? And what sort of damage does this do? Not amazing. We can get the kill if we do this. And we did indeed get the kill. Nice. And then we can go... Oh, that, that affects everyone as well. Okay. So we're going to be stacking... I didn't. I, I thought this was a single target. So this, this is a really, really good one to use. Okay. I, I, I chose well here. This, uh, this hammer and tongs... Perfection. Really, really good. Um, gonna go for a heal here. Unfortunately, low end of the spectrum on heals there. We got a two, which was buffed to a four. We'll go for this for a potential stun um, and blight. We got the stun. Very, very nice. And we'll try that again. Only five. Of course, our healing is gonna be sporadic, but we do have some healing 
here as well, so it's not all bad. We'll go for another stun, although it might not take. Unfortunately, with the resist there, I had a feeling. We'll go for that. We do have to be aware, of course, that um, using the stun is going to move us forward. It's not something we want to be doing, really. Um... Ah, resisted birth this time around. At least it clears the corpses out of the way. Luckily, we have a block for that, so that's not going to be too bad for us. Um, we'll just go for a hit there. Very nice crit there. Very nice crit indeed. And this is doing some good damage too. Guaranteed crits versus bleeding. We'll get retribution in there. Didn't kill, unfortunately, but the blight will. Slowly. Beautiful. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I don't know what I'm meant to use on this, but... Oh, it's, it's just stress relief, I see. That's where I was confused before. I thought I just did nothing, but I just used it on someone that didn't have any stress. Um, use a torch on this to get a buff, I think. That buffs everyone's stress healing received, which is actually pretty good considering we have a class that can stress heal. Also works for crits as well, but more direct methods of usage are probably better. Bandages for this, I think. This is a quirk gain by the looks of it. Um, yeah, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Why not? There's a buff. Uh, arm piercing. That's, that's also pretty good. We got a first it's relatively rough battle here. Gotta be careful. Now, one thing I, I can consider here, and I'll, I'll go over this in just a second, is Lysander does have a skill which can de-stealth and bypass stealth. So that might actually be something we want to switch to rather than this uh, Orison here, because I think that could be pretty darn good. Um, so what do we want to go for here? I think, honestly, let's just start relieving some of the stress that everyone's got. Because it's not a lot right now, but it could get out of hand. Knight of a Demon. Lucky dodge, lucky dodge. Go for this first. Get everyone a little bit of prot. Because the thing is, 10% prot doesn't seem like a lot. But it makes a difference. It really does. Um, yes. Navar, wow. You've, you can do it all. You're, you're a great healer. You're doing some really good damage as well. Um, I'm going to stun this guy and get the minus five speed on him because that will help us a lot. Unfortunately, his stun chance is way higher than I expected, actually. So that was a little bit of a whiff. But he still gets the lowered speed regardless, so that's not bad. It's not bad. Lick's coming in. No problem to me. Might have a demon coming in with a slash there and the bleed. Okay, bleed isn't great, but we can heal it off. That's the sort of heal we're looking for. And we actually healed everyone there. I think that's something to do with his crit. If we crit heal, I think it shares the heal among everyone. We'll go for a repose here because that'll do the crits received as well. And we'll hopefully hammer a faith this guy into the ground. We got a max roll on that damage, which is pretty good there. Not a kill, but... Not terrible. I've left this 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 gal alive a bit too long, I think, here. She's probably going to start doing some annoying stress stuff, but we'll, we'll get through it. You can see here, so we're getting the stress off re relatively easily. Take you out nicely. And we'll go for you. Ooh, not quite a kill. And... I think we'll go for another buff here. Our buffs are looking crazy. <laughs> Our buffs are looking absolutely crazy. I love it. Hey, there's Repost coming in a little bit there. Take out that guy. And there's a crit. Nice. Very, very nice. Good stress heal off the back of that, too. Yeah, I think, I think stress-wise, we're probably going to be fine here. Just take the kill there, and wow. Xander, you definitely did just decimate. Holy. Holy hell. Brought low and driven into the mud. Back we go. But we bought extra shovels. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Navai is our blazing star at the moment. Carelessness will find no Minus accuracy for 10 rounds. Place. I'm definitely going to get rid of that. And then you can bang the gong once again. The gong just keeps showing up for you, doesn't it? But 
We'll let you. Oh, no. Okay, that time, potent quirk removed. That time, we got unlucky. Okay, unfortunate. That's what I get, though, I guess. Not a particularly bad group of enemies here. The shark could be a little risky, but I think we'll be okay. I'm going to keep relieving stress here because it's relieving a pretty good amount across the board. Um, and instead of damage, I'm going to go for a heal here. It is unfortunate when you low roll with that heal, but it kind of is what it is. Um, we'll go for a hammer. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Although not leaving a corpse makes Nixon a little less useful, which is a shame. Thank you for missing there. The Benthic Whip, no stun for us, thank you. We are the master of stun. We shall not be stunned. Meek rebuttal, that's going to bleed us though. Oh no, we didn't even get the bleed either. Just go for the buffs with this guy. Blaze is, I, th I feel like he's just such a, a strong presence that he kind of like inspires everyone to do better. And that is sort of his role on the battlefield to just come in and, and be, a, be a really inspirational person. And I think that this with, with this setup is kind of perfect for the character I want him to be or I, I see him as at least. Go for the kill there. Give them no quarter. And I think we'll try and get a stun here. It's not, it's not super likely, but we got the blight at least. It at least gets rid of the corpse. Gonna go for a stun here. There you go, that time we got it. Good damage there. Buffs everyone as well. You're, stu you're sun stunned, son. You can't do anything. Give you a block. For a bit more of that. Whoa! God damn the light. It's piercing today. Nice one, okay. One thing, do you know, I know that there's a chance that there's battles that show up on your way back, but when you're traveling back down a row like this, I wish you could just like auto, you could like click to the end and it would just auto travel and then any battles it would have come across, it just generates sort of, it'd be, it'd be just a nice time saving thing. Cause like walking between all these rooms, it's just a little unnecessary. It'd be nice to have some sort of like fast back travel option. Try and avoid that uh, shovel required bit there. Go around it just in case. Because you never know. Sometimes you can get really unlucky with the amount of shovels required on long missions. Now I don't know where I'm going to I'm gonna take up our, uh, our rest point. I don't know where I'm going to end up sleeping. But we'll figure that out as we come to it. It's not a big concern. One thing I do got to remember is on uh, in the, um, the aisles you don't get as much money. So we're probably not going to come out of this for great money. That's not a terrible problem. These guys are stealth for another two rounds. Oh, yeah, another two rounds. So you've got to be aware of that. Navarre's really getting targeted a lot here. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Nice dodge. Um, I'll go for the stress relief again. Honestly, it's keeping us at bay. I like it. And you've got really high stun. Okay, so there's not much point going for you with that. Um, we could go for the back line there and potentially do some good damage. Now let's, let's just take our ta take our uh, target damage on this guy. Go for a party heal there. It's a very good party heal. We'll go with the uh, rebuttal here. Retribution. Okay, not so bad. A little bit of damage there, but nothing terrible. And we'll bring you forward. Unfortunately, no bringing forward for you. Might of a demon. Luckily, Might of a demon is not doing all that much to us. But that could just be due to that extra prop we've got going on. Try and get a kill on that guy. Just missed it, but it's fine. We can get it here. No, come on. <laughs> I was really hoping that I'd do enough damage to kill him. Oh, well. But there you go. Lysander gets the big hits. Yeah, and I, I, I like having Nyx around for this as well. I think Nyx is an interesting class that we haven't really played around with much, and I want to bring her out more. Hare and Lysander are a weird pairing, actually. It's something I didn't think about when bringing these guys out, because Lysander's very much for the light, 
And uh, Nyx is on the darker side of things. Let's see. On the darker side of things. Yeah. Love that buff to accuracy there. Beautiful. Stun is very, very nice. And we get the kill. Lovely. Success so clearly in view. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? What is going on here? These, uh... These Go contenders seemingly died in the process of solving a complicated puzzle. What puzzle could be worth dying for? Hmm. See, I'm guessing shovel works to smash the board, but I don't want to do that. I don't see any key, so I don't think key would work. Nah, I have no idea. I'm not I'm just gonna leave it. I'm wasting too many of my resources trying to figure that out. It might just be one that you touch without any without putting anything in, but I don't know. Spit coming out. We'll definitely do a, a party heal when we get the chance here. Try and do some damage to you. Probably should have pulled the other spider up rather than taking the one in the front, but it's fine. Light there. No mark there yet. So that, like, can be a really low heal, but it can also be a really high heal, so it's, it's worth it. Because these guys have a bit of prot. It's good to go for them first. Build up our prot here. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. The leap. Okay, we're taking quite a bit of damage here. Whoa! -ho -ho. Quite a bit of damage. Okay. So we definitely want to do that. It gives you the uh, block and stops that blight. We're going to want to do some healing on you, aren't we? Okay, so let's do a self heal A. That's the heals we're looking for. 14. We'll also do a passive heal here for a little bit extra, too. I'll get you up to a good level. Doesn't mean this combat's going to go on a little longer than I'd like, but you have to do what you have to do. Nice. Love the fact that we've got that block in there. I'm going to go for another party heal here, yes, in the hope we get a high one, and we did, because everyone's a bit weak. We're not doing a lot of damage to these guys, but it's kind of a give and a take, a setup. up. Lysander does a huge bit of damage there, though. Gives us some nice fresh relieving. Are oh, you got two HP? Please hit him for two. Oh, for, for God's sake. You know you can hit for two with that, right? Very annoying when you don't. At least, ah, oh, I was gonna say, at least we get the reverse damage here, but sadly, it doesn't matter for us. And again with the reverse damage, maybe? Oh, there's a crit for reverse. Unfortunately, to take a good bit there. And some blight as well. But that's okay, we can get rid of that pretty, pretty soonish. Oh, come on. Oh, wow! How the hell did that heal for 14? A crit of between 1 and 4, with my buffs is like between 1 and se 7. Somehow hit for that much, that's crazy. I'm trying to get goddamn Nyx to have a go. There you go, so I can cure this Blight. Kind of a waste of time now, because we're going to get hit again. Okay, at least you didn't get Blighted, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. This expedition at least promises success. Okay. Opposite this room over here. Hello, Ernie. How are you? I will be taking you down incredibly swiftly. Just you wait. The blood Just quickens. you wait. Oh, really? One health left. Hey, 16 on you, though. And we're resisting all the stuns today. I'm liking that. Uh, 
That's the bleed. Bleed is very, very small though. I think that's more of an enabler for the shark enemy than anything else. Let's cure it off no, regardless. Nice heal across the board there. Not quite a kill, but pretty good damage. And this will kill. Good. Get back to some stress relieving here. Our stress levels have been really, really nice here. We've not had many issues at all. More bleed coming out. We'll go for the kill regardless here. We'll just use a bandage. We've got quite a few. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. More gold. Um, rather not trash anything, but we've only got one minor Omenari. I'd, I'd get, rather just get rid of that. I'll quickly check what this curio is behind this door. Unfortunately, a whole lot of nothing. The way is lit. The path is clear. Okay. We require only the Who's going to be our trap disarmer of this group then, do you reckon? Who's going to be the trap disarmer? Uh, one, one thing I've got to say, this is a group of three modded heroes and only one vanilla. And it looks incredibly vanilla. Like, the people, that, some of the people that, like, go to the extra effort of, like, stylizing stuff in the Darkest Dungeon style do an absolutely phenomenal job. Like, these classes specifically all look so fitting and right. This is a key. Finding Ooh. The stuff is only the first test. Problems. We need Path both we need both of these over. really. Uh not really got the space. This is a shame, because I don't really know what to get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna hope for the best there. So I, I need money, I'm gonna have to take them. Uh but at the same time. I could need the other curio stuff to get more money, so. A fortune. Waiting to be spent. Okay. Oh, two Ernies this time. Okay. Bruce exposure. It's going to be some stress. Probably try and get rid of her first this time. I didn't do that last time and I kind of regretted it. Should have a pretty easy time of doing so, though, because we can condemn her and pull her forward. And then we can smack her with the light. Ooh. Oh, I pushed her back one. Darn tootin'. It's okay, we can still hit her. Oh, she dodged though. Come on now. Yeah, we hit her with a light. We get an accuracy bonus off of that, off of the back of that as well. We're probably gonna have to heal this next turn because health is getting a little bit low. Just a smidge. Ah, that's really what I was trying to avoid, but was not quick enough to kill her. We got another round after the. Round after this, we'll go for some heals. Oh, that's our first stun. First stun. Oh, really got to hope for the big hits there, but that's the lowest roll we can get at 10. Buff that prop up a little, a little bit more. 20% reduced damage incoming is real nice. Um, I'm going to give you a block, because you're taking a good bit of damage. I'd rather you not take any more. Of course, they target Navarre anyways, and they bleed him. Beautiful. Okay, at least we blocked that. Nice. Got some stress out of it, but that's okay. The end approaches. Twelve, not bad. Ah, we really needed a good party heal there, and we did not get it. Okay. Certainly not super happy with the the peeps' health at the moment. Let's go for that. Thank God for that dodge. Thank you for targeting the guy that has repulsed as well. Ah, you stunned me though. Not so grateful for that. Come on, come on. Be a, be a good party heal this time. Two again? God damn it. <laughs> Such a risk with that attack. Cure that bleed, give you a block. Buys us some time, potentially. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Seven across the board. Oh, that's also what I'm looking for. Sad we didn't kill him, but I can't be mad about a 25 crit. 
And you're not even going to deal damage this turn on the stress. Repurst. Fortunate bleed there. Just get the kill with you. We're going to need to do some stress relief here because stress has gone through the roof rather quickly. And another heal for seven. Sets this in stone essentially. One HP left. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Right, we keep going. But a victory nonetheless. Let's have a look how long we got left. Okay, let's let's check this room and whatever this room is will count. Another relatively hard battle here. If you get more than one of these Ernies, it's definitely going to be tricky. If you get more than one of these gals, it's also going to be tricky. Because the stress output on those is potentially very, very high. Um, you can see already, this This is why I said we need, might need to cam. Let's pull one of you forward and hopefully keep you there. Ah, oh, come on. I was really hoping that would kill. There's at least one of them dead. Okay. Please stop wailing on me. Bring forward once again. I said stop wailing on me. You just wail of tormented me. My stress is going through the roof. Through the roof, I tell you. We've not even managed to attack either of these Ernies yet. And you're stunning my guys. God damn it. Hey, 14 heal is not bad at all. Go for some damage on one of these bad boys. Still going to keep pulling you to the front to potentially get some damage on you. Apparently it does not affect what moves you're able to do because the stress is really going crazy now. We have no way of clearing that horror either. I didn't bring any Loudenum with me, so... Not great. Decent party heal there. Got rid of the gal. Stop wailing on me. Um, I think we're going to have to do some stress healing here. It's, it's not a lot, which is the problem, but it's something. We don't have the buff from the incense anymore. The incense buff was very strong for us. Honestly, keep, keep going with the party heals. I don't know how you're able to party heal for that much sometimes. That's kind of crazy. I don't know how you're doing it, but keep doing it, please. Eee, insecure on you. Good, good. Ah, oh, bloody used the wrong movement. I went to use that to try and stun and blight. Even though this guy doesn't stun very easily. I still thought I'd give it a go. A Get that going. Bubbling. Might have a demon isn't so bad. Oh, beautiful, Azanda. Beautiful. Yeah, and we definitely want to camp here because stress got a little out of hand there. Let's get over there and camp. We might have a little fight before we get there, mind you. Ah, we don't want to touch her. We don't want to touch her. Right, so let's camp it up. We will uh, do a full stress heal and eat. Um, we will take... Yeah, we'll take this prevent nighttime ambush. Um, party dodge and crit. There you go. Stress down a little bit as well. Okay, before we end this off the camping, let's go into another diary entry here. So we've got a pretty long one here, so let's get into it. This is a chat uh, inside of a clearing. This is a collab between Blank Gaming and Rockerin. Um, so let's get into it. Well, I wasn't expecting Hashishi... Ha has... Has... I can never pronounce this. Has... Ashi... I wasn't expecting Hashishi to um, do better than us both. Somehow. 
Saying he made the Swine King bleed like a pig would be an understatement. <sighs> the Guardian told Chaos they were sitting on a small patch of grass, untainted by the wheel's infection, surrounded by a couple of trees, cleansed or in the process of being cleansed. The great man sits with a seemingly cheery mood, wiping slime from corrupted beasts from his, um, from his, I don't, I don't know what that word is, C-E-S-T-U-S. -S. Cestus? I don't know, what, what's a Cestus? Anyways, <laughs> not my fault, damn thing was so blubbery. Couldn't get a good, um, good rip grip. Did I use that word right? Blubbery? He, lo um, he looks to the guard. Though I admit you sure put Wilbur in his place, that damn thing didn't know what hit him. The Guardian uh, responds, the usual coldness in his voice is seemingly gone. One little, two little piggies gone, bye bye. He says with a cadence and chuckles. So not to be strange, but how is it like being a bad man? Not trying to make you mad, just interested. He looks with genuine and almost childlike curiosity. The problem isn't being a bird, it's everything associated with it. The worst physical thing about being a bird is that anything that shines really gets my attention. <laughs> That's also why whenever I get paid, and um, I get the coins in a satchel. But people don't take too kindly to people that uh, they see as a monster, so I cover up. The, there are a few things um, that take too kindly to my appearance, the Guardian said his hands pressed against the ground, its fabric seemingly slightly tearing. Nothing wrong with glittery things, they're pretty. Got yourself some fans, huh? He notes his anxiety. Obsessive fans? They see me um, as something I'm not, which is true for most people, but they're different. One time, one of those Talon guys saw me uncovered. He told his leader and she arranged a meeting with me, one that I couldn't avoid. Unfortunately, uh, one that I couldn't avoid, unfortunately. We talked. Uh, she told me how I was everything they strive to be, not ever knowing what I am, or who I am, just knowing how uh, I looked like. I didn't take, it didn't take long, um, didn't take her long to realise I'm nothing like what, uh, what she wants me to be. She ordered I be hunted down. Something about how I don't deserve to mock the symbol of their purpose. Boy, I'll show her a purpose. He said in his voice, something new could be clearly heard. Resentment. I've seen people do mad things in the name of their hero. Saw a man at one, uh, one pit. I saw a man at one pit gut himself as an offering for strength. If he rose, he was blessed. He died, he was unworthy. Scoffing at his own words. People call me stupid. Never seen me do um do that, so. These weirdos got it out for you now, have they? So I really apologise that I can't read at all. Just long, long paragraphs just absolutely mess with my dyslexia so goddamn hard. So I can't like, I don't read it in the right cadence is, is sort of what, I, I read the words but I don't read the, the, the cadence and like, I, I don't know. Anyways, I'll continue on, but I, I really apologize that I'm butchering the ever-living hell out of this amazing writing. I just can't read well, but it's it's practice for me, I guess. Anyways, people like that are misguided. The talons are just cruel. He looks at a single white flower at the center of the grass field. Just cruel. Well, best you can do is give them what they want. Clapping his big hands together. They want to be cruel? Well, they're going to find out what happens when you piss off the wrong people. I usually like uh, using violence as my last resort. It's rather unfortunate how often you resort to, uh, you have to, you reach such resorts. The say we've talked uh, about me long enough. Um, what have you been up to? Any luck with your plants? Well, first they asked for it and they will not stop till you're dead. And everyone around you is a fist bump, uh, a fist bump to the shoulder and I'll make them regret picking that fight. Even more so when someone it's, actually, it's someone I actually like. As for the planting, I've been working on a few um, asters. They supposedly represent Astraea, goddess of the innocence and purity and justice. A belaboured sigh. Kimber would like them. They're pretty and purple. Kimber, without her, this place wouldn't be possible. I did mostly physical labour for this place. 
um, for this place is Clens. Amy Kimber and Amy. I can't. One, one second. Amy Kimber and did most of the smarts for the serum. I just dug roots and cut mushrooms. Say, if you don't mind, could you put me some uh, of those flowers here? I showed you the root and they brighten up the place more than that uh, single lily. Not a problem there, Never. As he gets up, helping him to his feet. Just remember, anyone comes after you, they're going to have a real bad day. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. So I just read all of that. And the message directly below it says, For the love of God, please don't read this all in one sitting. Whoops. It's done now. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna preface any message that I have to read with some sort of instruction, put it first. Put it above. Otherwise I'm gonna read the whole damn thing. And as you saw, reading long diary entries like that is an absolute torture for me, because I cannot do it. <laughs> Oh, we have fun with this series. We have fun. Yeah, I just I just don't want to butcher the interesting stories you guys have made. But sometimes I'll like stumble over my words and I'm either unsure okay, we don't have bandages left. I'll either be unsure if it's written incorrectly in terms of the grammar is wrong. Oh goddamn whale boy. Or if I'm just reading it poorly. It's probably more likely that I'm just reading it poorly, but it, it, it confuses me sometimes. It really does. Um, try and take out this guy first. That was a good damage there. We are back to it. Please get the two damage. Dude, every single time I need you to do two damage, you just can't, can you? You just can't step up to the plate and do two damage. Would it be so hard? Oh, this thing gained restoration from that. And two blocks. Oh, God. That was awful. Get rid of these blocks. Get our buffs going. Yeah, that's funny. Don't read this all in one go. At the end of it, after I've already read it all. <laughs> of course. Um, I think I need to go for more stress relief, really. Just a little bit. It's not great. Don't be crit healing. Oh god. Didn't like that. Yeah, keep, just keep going for the damage on this big boy. We'll get him down eventually. The little guy back there is problematic, but we'll take him out. Right, now you can get the kill. Thank you. We'll put some condemn on you. No debuffs though. Doing good damage to this guy. He's going down reasonably quickly. He does have some good prop though. Weep for the dead. Oh, that's a lot of horror. It's all okay though. No debuffs again. Your debuff resist must be very high. It's not actually that high. It's only 50, but there you go. We take out that big boy. Perhaps the turning point. Won't take any of them. Definitely open this bad boy up. A handsome reward. More heirlooms is lovely. Task well performed. You can go through here. Thank you, Navar, for taking on that for me. This is Minor Ermenori, isn't it? Which I don't think I have any more of. Yeah, unfortunately it is. I'm not going to bother with that then. And we push on through. Yeah, I definitely love like seeing all the diary entries and reading through them, but it is it is a real battle for my dyslexia. If there's anything any more than like a paragraph, I'm gonna seriously struggle to read it coherently, which is unfortunate, but unfortunately just one of my many foibles. It just kind of is what it is. So I apologize for butchering your fantastic writing on occasion. I try my best, I promise. Um not using any of that. Let's take that and just use this torch. Almost done here. I think we've only got a few more rooms to go. 
Oh, really? There's a battle in this one space. It's okay, though. We get loot for it, so I don't mind. We can get one kill here and do a corpse explosion. That would work quite well for us, I think. Light coming out there. That's fine. Don't stun me, please. Don't stun me, don't stun me, don't stun me. Yes. And I can get that kill. That does leave a body behind, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't matter then. Does not matter. Let's go for this. Go for this. Man, this fresh received is kind of nice. Ah, really? I miss on that? Unfortunate. That's the blight coming out again. Probably should have just gone for the blight removal on one of these guys. Oh well. It is what it is. A decent party heal across the board there. Ah, really? At least it still sets up reversed. I'm going to go for another party heal here. Just get everyone topped off for our potential next fight here. Hey, good good reverse there. And then we can hopefully, yeah, get rid of that blight here. Awesome. That's good timing. Oh, really? Oh, that's so frustrating. That didn't work how I wanted it to at all. Oh, and you dodged that as well. Okay, that went alarmingly terribly. But luckily we got the kill there. That was annoying. <laughs> Everything just did not go the way I wanted it to there. We do have a battle here. We do have a shark boy as well. With the crabs that can apply that bleed, so... We're going to have to be relatively quick about this. I'll give you the, the block straight off the bat, I think. I'll click cure that blight as well. Why not? We'll just go for a kills on these guys. Beautiful. And that is why we have the block on, but it didn't even hit anyways. Fortunately, that can still stun us, and it did. God damn it, but it didn't remove the block though, nice. So even if you go for another hit, oh, you missed as well. This block's just staying about. Okay, this isn't so bad. We'll do that for a potential of a stun. We did get one. We do, we do lose some light on that. It's only five, but it's still, it's something. We don't have any torches left. We do not have any torches left. Okay. Not something I was aware of. A little bit scary. So our light level is going to be kind of risky here. It's okay though. We can manage. Debuff on them for damage received. Hey, a crit for two, baby. And that's a kill on you. Nice one, just the shark left now. Ah, no crit there. I was hoping for a crit for the kill, but I don't think it would have actually killed him even, even if we got a crit there. I think it would have left him with one HP. Really shouldn't be using this considering it lowers our light and we don't have any torches left, but it's, it's useful, sir. So. Hey, seven across the board. That's lovely. I thought that I did more damage for some reason. It's fine. Beautiful stuff. The greater the glory. And I think we've only got one more room to actually re like do required. So let's just go for this one, I guess. And these other three rooms are not required. So I guess let's do a camp here. Another one. We can get another diary entry in here as well. Um, I'm not going to do any stress healing here. Good. And then, yeah, let's do another diary entry. As I said, apologies for butchering the previous one, but there you go. <laughs> It's just so funny how I read it, and it says, Melon, for the love of God, please don't read this all in one sitting. <laughs> um, yeah, reading something quite sizable in one sitting just isn't nice. Yep, I agree. My bad. My bad. Um, anyway, so we got the, this is from um, Dr. Sandwich Junkie. Uh, the Cost of Love and Puppet Mastery Production. 30 years ago. 
in the middle of a storm, body on the ground. Two swordsmen stand either side of the young man's corpse, his eyes still open in shock at the wound that struck him down. One, uh, on one side stands a young Hassisha, tears streaming down his face, mixing with the rain and streaks of blood. On the other side stands an older man, his father, Hanzo. Looking across the muddy street at his son with a cold, unfeeling stare. Both swords are drawn from the sh uh, their sheaths as the men charge at each other. Blades lock, clash and spark. Hasisha fights with rage, screaming with every slice and stab that his father deflects or dishes with raw calculated technique he's honed over the years. Only one thing breaks the elder man's raw focus. A woman's voice. His wife, pleading and screaming for the two to stop fighting. In his anger, Hasashi is unfazed by his mother's begging and capitalizes on the distraction just as he was taught to do so by the, by the same man he sword plunges into. Hasashi collapses on the muddy street, crawling on his hands and knees to the body of the, uh, to the, body of the ground and holding the young man's head into his chest. The only person who could make him smile made him comfortable enough to drop his guard. The only person he'd loved cut down in cold blood in front of him by someone, uh, someone struck in the past that didn't want to understand. Very, very interesting. Great stuff. And let's move on, shall we? Yeah, that sort of size I can do much more manageably. <laughs> uh, I blank gaming. I apologize so heavily. <laughs> That was probably some really good writing that I absolutely ruined. It also helps, it doesn't help that I just like, don't know words. <laughs> I'll be reading something and just have no idea how to pronounce it or no idea what it means. Anyways, this should be the quest end. It's not? Okay, thought it would be. This will be there, and we're just out of light now as well, so let's hope there's no battle. There you go, there isn't. Good, good. Okay, continue adventuring. We can just actually leave. Um, and that wasn't so bad. We did we did reasonably well there, and the trinket we gained was for the duelist, which we don't have the duelist yet, but nice nonetheless. And we got everyone up to level three as well. Ooh, we're definitely gonna have to get that get rid of that shrieking madness. Also that as well. Wow. Okay, we got two things we definitely need to get rid of here. So let's go do that now. A fresh irritant to some, a sanguine memory to me. Um, scales grow all over the bare skin. Lungs uh, gasp for fresh water. Pandas, the man's condition has worsened. Interesting. Pandas, how you feeling, buddy? How you feeling? 20% damage for disease, plus 2 for disease. It's actually pretty useful. We're just losing some max HP and some blight resist. But anyways, uh, let's quickly just unequip all of our trinkets and stuff. And then, yeah, sanitarium. We're going to need some help here, because we have two people that desperately need removal of diseases. There you go. Good, good, good. And we'll check our stagecoach, who we got. Oh, yes! Okay, who wants to write the backstory for the vessel? The vessel is... Hollow Knight. Someone made a Hollow Knight class, and it's not something I'd regularly add, but I love it. I think it looks so cool. So someone can take the backstory for the vessel if they'd like. Um, we also have the Assaulter as well, which I'll bring on board too here. Um, the Assaulter is a long-range class, and we've been needing more backline range classes. So we'll take on the Assaulter. So we've got two new backstories coming in for the next episode. Um, so take a look at those and see what you can do with it. We're probably going to have to take Viara out again on our next mission to make some more money because our money is still pretty low. But either way, yeah, we've got one more diary entry and we'll end off the episode. This is um, by Gagor Guy. Um, could, uh, could put could up the the goat, the abominate. Oh, actually, no. Okay, this... No, no, no. I thought it was a diary entry. This is actually the um, backstory for the abomination when we get one of them. So... Good to not read that now. We'll keep that for when we actually get an abomination, but thank you for writing that in. Uh, but yeah, that's all the diary for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, I should never stop apologizing for how bad I am at reading. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.